Okay, everyone. Welcome back to the Transcended Legion. Uh, I don't think I did a good job explaining this sort of idea in the, in the first video. Oh, so, um, basically what this is, is like the cult mechanicus, uh, you know, transcended humans, um, but we don't like Xenos, we like humans, anything that's mutant, with some discretion, you know, dart moles, Neanderthals, I mean, there's some liberties that can be taken, um, but basically that's it, actually, no, that's not it, that is it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, we're going to go down the route of, uh, you know, microelectronics, multi-analyzer, get all this stuff unlocked. We're going to harvest genes from these dirty Xenos. Oh, this guy's a heretic. He was hanging out with him. Um, once once we get the gene stuff unlocked. Right now, we're, well, we're uh, trying to get some money. How's it going, Plague? I'm doing good. So this is Kevin. You know, Kevin is is one of the freeholder titles because we're going to try to get him leveled up here. Pretty intellect, super social, good with medicine. We got Karen here. He's good with plants, good with construction, good with shooting, good with crafting. Trout's one of our indentured servants. He's good with plants. He's good with shooting. Choice is just the crafter right now. And we have another colonist away on a quest. With provincial helpers, they'll be back in six days. No well, congrats on finishing your work, Plague One. And here we are. I'm gonna try to... What kind of programming do you do? Alright. So Kevin's gonna finish up with the Psychite refining. And then we'll have him probably switch over to Xenogenics. We actually have a lot of components at this uh, stage of the game. I can't use this uh, biocoded machine pistol because. Uh, Oh, it's bio-coded. How long have you been a programmer for? Alright. Uh, we're, you know, we're gonna try. It looks like the, the heal route... The heal route is coming in. That allows us to do all sorts of messed up surgeries very early on. That's actually quite the haul there. What is this? Uh, no, just give us the plot information. Looks like we're gonna get uh, the minimum 232 heal root, which, why do I say minimum? Because sometimes we get two, sometimes we get three. I've never seen four heal root though. But uh, that'll be a lot of medicine for the early game here. Psychite has 62% grown. We got smoke leaf, I think. No, we don't have any smoke. I think we just went for the big boy one. Psychate refining's done. Um, you know, there's an argument to be made for packaged survival meals, but I think for the sake of fun, there's an argument to get flak armor early, but let's get xenogenics going. Uh, the more genes we can harvest now, the better. We don't have a miner for our colony, and I think steel is going to be a... Oh yeah, this is the this is the rot pile. We we have a rot pile. Um, I think. Um, oh, we have a tr crash train. Okay. Well, hello. So, say hi to Echo here. Echo is a crafter. Small. Oh, what the? F oh, you're a genie. Didn't realize the Empire of the Sun was heretics. I mean, it's pretty i mean gavin can we rescue her let's get her all nice and rescued here use some of that medicine we just harvest here 
All right, the left arm is scratched that she was bleeding from is all set to go. We got Joyce and Trout chilling there. Kevin and Karen. Uh, once the psychic comes in, I am going to level this. So we're going to actually expand out this way. This is going to be where all the power and fun stuff will be. Don't really have a plan for this colony loadout. I usually do like all the beds over here. And then we have workshops and stuff over here. It looks like this wooden wall is... I mean, we can actually deconstruct the um, the the wind turbine here. Um, now, there is an argument actually to be made that we should research. Solar panels. I'm not seeing any other geothermal around here. And you, I'm a, I'm a geothermal simp, and I don't... I mean, the closest one I see is, like, up here. Alright, we keep trying to convert trout. Yeah, this might be a solar panel. Uh, I might have to use solar panels a little bit. <sighs> yeah. Usually I get lucky in uh, some worlds where, uh, you know, there's like a f geothermal sort of close to each other. So if you expand out a little bit, you can, you know, grab it. But I don't think we're going to be lucky in this case. Yeah, and the deposits here are a little lacking. Uh, you know, we got some components here, but there's nothing else here. Components here. Oh, this is all steel. What we got here? Uranium. Compact machinery. Compact steel, but like... Oh, uh, there's some more here. Uh, there might be more than meets the eye. There might be... More than meets the eye. I woke up today at a reasonable time. 10 o'clock. Better than sleeping until 2 o'clock in the afternoon like I normally do. Get some room world in. Oh, we got some wood out here. Let's grab that wood. Alright, Kevin's going to be working on the Xenogenics. Where do we want to put the Xenogenics room? That's going to be my question. We could, we could put a, the room like right here. Uh, I'm also not... Um, very good with kill boxes. I, I think I, if I have what? How many hours in Rim World? Almost uh, 394. Um, and I have yet to make a kill box. So uh, wish me luck. Oh shit, would you look at that? Four and five. That's a. That's pretty crisp. Alright, Echo is. Oh, still has a left arm scratch. Kevin is going to feed her raw berries. I think that's going to upset her. Ratty apparel. That's that's your stuff. I'm not responsible for that. I can't control that. Echo the Spy has been healed. She's really good at You know, for a spy with... Zero so... Oh, she's a child. She's a gourmet cannibal who's a wimp. Wow, you are... You are something. Alright. Well, that was a fun little interaction there. I think we'll make the room... I think we'll make the room over here. Exotic Goods Trader is here. Uh, we have no money and... No drugs to sell. Like, we'll just take a sneak peek. I mean, it's not like they're gonna have. Bello. Hey, what's up, sussy man? Okay, they have t uh, the, the jump pack. Naked speed. A small. Okay, gene pack. Naked speed. A small capsule. Get blah, 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 blah. What is naked speed? You're just faster when naked. Well, here's a gene pack for just being fast. We literally don't have anything to trade. Um, Any mods you using? Uh, I will get you guys. I mean, we could. Hold on, give me two seconds. So, like, I also kind of want to make super soldiers with all these genes we're stealing, but we just don't. We have a pain stopper. We just don't have any silver. And then... 
that really breaks my heart. We, well, we could sell this. And all the food. We could sell components to get a pain stopper. We need to harvest the organs. Is what I'm hearing. We need to we need to harvest organs. Uh, most of the seeds. That's it. Uh, for mods. Um, take a quick look at them. Uh, for the mods that we're using, on this world at least, uh, we got Harmony, Core Royalty, Hugslib, Rapid Fire turret, Turrets, Ideology, Biotech, Cuter Biotech, cat, so it makes the cat girls look realistic, Infinite Turrets, Interaction Bubbles, Enter Here, which helps with caravans, Fists aren't made to sail, which is a rebalancing so people just can't break down doors all the time. Harvest organs, Porce Mortem, Miscellaneous Robots, Roombas, Travelers, all that fun stuff. Uh, Go Juice is the monster energy drink can. Pick up and haul, smarter hauling, play stuff. So I don't have to deconstruct shit and wait for it to move. Uh, simple sidearm, so sniper pawns can hold melee. So everyone can basically hold a bludgeoning weapon and beat prisoners up. Where's my weapon? It's smart weapon. Human re-equips. So if a colonist go down, they just pick up the gun that they uh, dropped. Use bed rolls, and then the best amount of all wall lights. And that's that's the list. That is the list. Just just some light modding. I do remember when I turned you into a war machine. Yeah, just light modding this time around. We'll, we'll do um, we'll do some heavy. We'll we'll crank out the 200 mod list. Uh, the next colony we make, we'll do something a little less role play, and we'll just kind of vibe with RimWorld. I think um, I think while the DLCs are great, I think just doing like a non ideology run is pretty. It's refreshing after a while. Just kind of being able to roll with the punches. Like this feels like uh, I don't know, it's like uh, this is this is even like a role play, but like you know I'm not really like just kind of taking people in, taking care of them. If you get the next mail, you know where this is going. Uh, unfortunately, dude, it is a sausage fest here. All of our colonists were dudes this time around. Most times I spawn with uh, two dudes or one girl, just for a little romance drama. But I just didn't find any good female colonists this time around. Um, so hopefully we find some baseline females and get some bitches up in this place. Now yes, get you, get you the robotic penis. Slade suppression, thank you, Kevin. Um, ah uh, yes, we were going to build, so I'm going to have the rooms, I mean, how, uh, here's what we need to do. We need to deconstruct this. Because we have, what is this here? This is, uh, we have potatoes down here. So I'm basically just going to replace this. We should probably put more cotton down here. Um, actually, that's exactly what we'll do. No, just the, just the cotton plants. Just the cotton plants. Okay, I'll expand the cotton zone. Okay, that's the potato zone. Can I just, so there we go. Expand this a bit. Because uh, we'll eventually grow over this. Um, hopefully, we'll, like we're doing nutrient paste. And it's, I believe, a one-to-one -one ratio. So, one food equals one meal. So, really, all we need are potatoes. We have a thousand rice. That's a thousand meals. And we'll just kind of make this kind of like the living area over here. So, we can... Most certainly. Uh, you know, I'm actually just gonna wait till the research is done. Um, Kevin over here is pretty based, pretty smart, big brain, so he'll uh, he'll cruise through this research in no time. Joyce is just uh, making marble chunks at the time. Joyce is a genie. The genies are very good at crafting. Uh, once the drugs come in, we'll have, um, we'll have, oh, we need 
steel to build all this stuff, don't we? And none of our workers are particularly good at my Joyce has a mining skill of five. My Joyce, would you would you get that? You know, Joyce, uh, you can do some mining. You know, I didn't I didn't realize that. Let's, let's get some let's get the mine on. Do a little bit of that. I don't want them to get too far away just in case a raid comes in, but we had a raid recently, I believe. What do we got here? Day 14, we're down to that. We had a raid. We had a raid five days ago. Get those components out of there. That will be the cotton farm, bro. You got four people. You got three bits. Uh, that is, um, I don't know what you're talking about. We got one, two. Yeah, we got the indentured servants sleep over there. And then we have, a, we have another colonist who's out on a work contract. Yeah, Joyce, you can go mine. You can go mine, Joyce. We have an ancient danger right here. No, dude, you're good. We have an ancient danger here. Don't even know it's in here. Interesting to see. Nathan's destitute travelers. Nathan is approaching with a child in tow. They said that the crop lays starve them out. Um. There's a kid. Uh, we'll take a look at this. I don't know if Nathan's a Xeno or not, and I don't really want to take in any freeloaders. I mean, they said they would work, right? Yeah, they work and fight for free during that time. They want to stay here for nine days. Uh, Joyce is, that is horribly slow mining. Even at three speed. I don't know if kid organ harvesting is a thing yet, but uh, everyone gets a mood debuff from it. Um, uh, even if you go for some, uh, even like psychopaths get a mood debuff from unhappy kids. Uh, or at least when I had child prisoners, people were getting mood debuffs for like unhappy kids. And the mood debuff description was like, oh, child should have this bad of a youth or something like that. So... Um, child soldiers do come with mood debuffs, and like we're we're already hanging on like a thread here. Like one one bad psychic drone, and that is just it. Ship to the stars has finally come. That's the quest to get us off the planet. But you know who really ever does that? Alright, Karen is... Karen is... Oh, no, I need to look at Kevin. Kevin! It's almost done with Xenogenics. Come on, Kevin, just finish up here. Chuck, 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 go, go the distance. Awesome, Xenogenics are done. We're gonna go research plate armor. Alright. Let's see what Joyce is up to. Joyce is, Joyce is making steady progress over here. Alright, Joyce is consuming nutrient paste. And what did I say, dude? That's uh, so unlucky. So that psychic drone is gonna be a minus 12 mood for basically everyone in the colony except for Joyce, or except for Trout. And Kevin is at a minor break risk. Um, all right, the cloth is uh, okay. Kevin is now on a food binge, and just like that, dude, everything is just such it's like such. And now Joyce is on a food binge. Like that's all it takes, dude. It's just one. One, um, 
Just one psychic drone and that is it. I mean, it's not that big of an issue because we have... Okay, Karen is going to have a mood break. Karen is recreationally satisfied. And Kevin and Joyce are just going to eat until they drop? I don't know if they sleep during a food binge. Yeah, so he'll get progressively actually worse because, well, he's not going to sleep during his mental break. Um, which is dumb. I always thought, like, there's no way you could binge food that hard while being asleep. So Kevin's probably going to... Yeah, this is just pathetic. And then they'll have mood debuffs from sleeping on the floor. And then that'll snowball into... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so ugly environment. Drowsy. The catharsis will hold us down for a couple days. Pend isn't in close. Joyce is... Joyce is collapsed due to extreme... Okay, well... Um, Karen, can we, can we haul the potatoes and can we haul herbal medicine? How many pizzas can you eat in one sitting? Uh, th yeah, but that's like, like, that's pizza. Like, that was like 12 nutrient paste meals. That was a lot. Psychic drone is done. Joyce is Yeah, catharsis. I can eat four in one sitting. Well it depends on what kind of pizzas we're talking about. You're talking about like a Domino's? Domino's they get crank out three. Those shitty frozen well no but the thing let me rephrase that. DiGiorno pizzas? Any pizza. I could I could get like I could probably get six of those down. With ease. Trout, can you, uh, can you haul the potatoes? Awesome, and then, uh, Karen, can you, no? Can you rope Hocus Pocus? I don't want our horse getting away on us. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. I don't think we got any dash or no in Germany. Crying face. DiGiorno is pretty good. I would consider that to be one of the better frozen pizzas. I don't know. Frozen pizzas are a little expensive these days. It's almost cheaper. Oh my god, we have Psychite finally. All right. So Joyce is going to... I want to have Joyce mine for like a couple days. And then we're gonna we're gonna get we got we got drugs on the menu. Joyce is exhausted. Joyce is going to proceed to collapse. No, nope, Joyce is gonna go to bed. Alright. So production, we can get a drug lab going now. Put that right there. It's gonna it's gonna take some components, but that's okay. Cause uh, oh, we got a mad doe. The deer's upset. We're gonna have to. Um, I am going to hacking make a bridge to somewhere. Kevin and Karen stay there. Trout and Joyce. Drown Joyce, defend your masters. The dough is here. Okay. Alright. 
Okay, Kevin can actually go back inside. Trout and Joyce go go fight the deer. Go fight the deer. There we go. We fought the deer, guys. You got bit in the right shoulder, and your back is bad because you're old. Awesome. Karen? Beat it to death. <laughs> Wonderful. That's beautiful. Nature, guys. Nature at its finest. I want to get machine turrets researched here uh, eventually. Let's make Yayo do forever. Cavemen when hunting. Basically. I did arms yesterday at the gym. Didn't hurt. Arms don't hurt as much as you have to do in arms than legs. Doing legs at the gym. Really, uh... Trout. Trout is bleeding. He's fertilizing the crops with his blood. It's beautiful. That's kind of what smart hauling does there. You tell them to pick stuff up. They'll just pick up as much as they can. And then they'll just deposit it. Boom, 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 boom. Plate armor has been researched. Let's get into machining. Joyce is out here mining the steel that we need. And yeah, this is a new holiday. We, the last one, kind of collapsed on accident. Uh, but this first uh, VOD of Rimworld is going up on YouTube at noon today. Alright. What ritual opportunity is available? High Fair 4th of August. Awesome. Is that is that our ritual? Is that one of our rituals? No, that's not one of ours. So we can host a social festival. But I think that might be someone else. That might be the delirious part of this year. Alright. Alright. I say I'll write a lot, but alright. A forced weather for Domini. Vengeful machine profound is threatening the Imperials of Empire of Sun. A high stellar Damien Parsos wants you to send messages to the persona. Accepting responsibility for the transgression. If you do, the person will turn anger on you. We get fog for eight days. So dinner, how did yesterday go? Sly trainer, word of trust. Speak to the prisoner while using... You know, fog for eight days isn't that bad. What do you mean by how did yesterday go? We could get honor out of it. A low shield pet. I mean, what's wrong with some fog? What's wrong with some fog, guys? We'll give it to Kevin. It's going to get all foggy now. Woo! Fog. I love me some fog. All right. So it looks like Kinu's back and the pods have arrived. Kinu, do you want to haul? That's Kinu's back. Guy. Oh, shit. We have a raid. A group of Yatkin from Diberish Kinor have a near room. They were Yesterday's stream and I got a Nintendo of Bayonetta 3. 
I got a Nintendo Bayonetta 3. That's a little broken English, but alright. I got an ad for Nintendo Bayonetta 3. Yeah, I'm not much of a Bayonetta person. We're gonna we're gonna try to capture this person. We're gonna try capturing this person. Uh, Kinu, Kinu and Karen can set up shop over here. We'll actually have Trout over here. Gonna wait for him to do his attack. Joyce will keep mining steel. I think the fog will make the shooting a little worse. What's your health like, buddy? Wooden hand. Okay. Well, if we do capture you, uh, we could use you for crafting. We can, can use you for crafting. So, let's hopefully here you force the... All right, here we go. He, he's coming. First shot will miss. We'll just kind of... All right, we killed him. Looks like we blew through his brain with the revolver. That's that's cool. That's awesome, guys. Good job. Trout with the log, yes, sir. Uh, Kinu was um, Kinu was a female. I've gotten some of that furry coochie. All right. We could have had use for another crafter, but, you know, that's okay. Can't get everything you want. Kinu, you're Kinu, not the enemy Kinu. Alright. Okay, things are going pretty good. Joyce is, um... Making pretty solid work on the... You know, the, the steel that's there. Drew seems to have a very bad sleep schedule like me. No, it's actually kind of bonkers that I'm up like this early at 10 o'clock. Keen you with the rifle, so is it a male or no? Uh, Keen, Keen, oh, Keenu. Oh, my bad. Keenu, uh, Keen, dude, these are all dudes. We got, we got a dude. Dude and dude. Like I said, the start is a sausage fest. The only female here is Trout. She's 50. Apparently her and Karen are friends. That's weird. Karen, you're not supposed to be friends with Xenos. You call it you you want what do you mean you're calling dibs on Kina? All right, you can you can self insert yourself for Kino. No, right. the rice is being harvested, uh, medicine's being replanted. Let's get some more uh, shelves going on in here. All right, with Kinu back. Is that how you spell your name? Well, I have his name changed to Damien. Oof, got some of the words backwards.
All right, Damien's uh, here doing the farming. Joyce is uh, something that he. You're telling me it's hot in here? Oh god, that is, that is uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit toasty. Get some uh, passive coolers going here. Machining is done. Um, and flak armor. There's an argument to me for flak armor. There's an argument to me for mortars. There's an argument to be made. Yeah, let's just. Bum rush gun turrets. I'm so mad still because I was a place where were a lot of animals and one of them was capybara and guess what? Chicken butt. What? Wait, is this IRL or in RimWorld? Go to a zoo. <laughs> Dude, I don't think a lot of zoos uh, have capy. Oh my god. Okay. Manhunter pack of rabbits. Okay. Well, we're gonna gonna try to wake everyone up for this one. Damien, Karen. We'll have Trout and Joyce over here. The rabbits are on their way. There's three of them. If we had turrets, this would be a lot easier. Damien's going to take a couple shots here. Kills one. And then it looks like Trout and Joyce are going to have to... Do some melee here. I think Trout got shot. No, Trout didn't get shot. Joyce get shot. No, they just got bit by rabbits. Alright, thank you for your service. Get Trout healed up. And hopefully Kevin will take care of him. Alright. Joyce on the other hand here will just keep on mining away. Joyce needs medical treatment. I don't. I don't think they do. Joyce is. Uh, what Joyce? Where do you have a mental break from? You're sweaty. I mean, I guess it is a little warm outside. Um. Joyce, you good at tailoring? You are good at tailoring. Well, let's get this veil made. So, uh, Kevin can stop getting the minus four mood debuff. From not having a veil. No, 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 no. Don't put that on. Don't put that on. That's not for you. For Kevin. 
So now Kevin doesn't have that mood debuff, but he's got a minus 15 because this is apparently super ugly. Oh, goodness. All right, spacious interior buffs kick it in. He'll become recreationally satisfied. How may I see the stats of myself? Trout is... Uh, Trout's unco uncovered groin. Trout... Trout don't got a shirt on. Trout, we got clothes for you to put on. I feel like you're going to be upset. All right, Damien, here you go. You got a shooting, you got a melee, you got a plants. You have creepy breathing, which you're pretty, so it's. And you're incapable of caring and social because you were a background soldier and your child who eventually became a crop farmer. Sounds just like me, F R R R R R R. <laughs> Alright. Trout going sicko mode, picking up all the goods. in here it's just kind of fun watching look at them go just it's kind of bonkers all right quest available the deserter i think this is the one to betray the empire of sun uh rose ball might be useful but i'm gonna go with the empire of the sun this playthrough wow my psychic powers please and thank you All right. Hey, Joyce, you want to take a break and haul some steel really quick? Actually, Joyce, you want to you want to haul some steel? Let's get blowback done, and then trout. Do you want to haul some steel, and then? Damien, do you want to... Oh. Apparently we can't store the steel. I guess we gotta make more, uh, more shelves then. Also, can we not have rotten stuff stored in here? Uh, no rotten. I want this decab- Oh, cause it's getting- Now we got some steel to work with here. Let's go to the biotech. So we have the gene extractor, which will rip people's genes out. Gene assembler. So this and this is 10 components. And then I kind of want... Three gene banks. Start off with three, three gene banks, and we'll make we'll make some room for growing here. I have shit posted once again in your DMs. Based. So 
What uh, the? Oh, yeah. The absolute classic RPK in the pizza box. Dude, do people play Unturned anymore? I remember when that came out on Steam. That was like. Kind of like the shit for a week. Um, a slaver from Rada. Okay, we we got some indentured servants. Take some more. All right, I'm gonna watch two of them, but then I'm gonna go back to. Uh... All right, do as an explorer. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> good with animals. It's a good intellectual. Unfortunately, we can't afford any of this. Luciferium. That is hilarious. So this is why we gotta make drugs. This is why we gotta make drugs. Talking about two, they are two. We gotta make drugs, dude. We just got no money. I guess with this done, we can actually turn Joyce off of... We just have Joyce uh, making drugs now. Karen is meditating in the freezer. All right, Karen, you go. I know we have drug synthesis going on. This is what I'm talking about. Get the bio. Biotechs of going. Suppressing Joyce. Slave revolt in 4.4 years, guys. Pullback operation is done, which is we can get gun turrets. Alright, the raiders are leaving. Can we try just a quick a quick trade? Quick trade, my good sir. No, we were not able to get a quick trade. Kevin Kevin fell back. Where's the gift? They left us a gift. Left us some uranium. Well, thank you. So, haul all of this. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Benison has. I am the one. W H O shit post. I I'm seeing them in my I'm seeing them in the DMs, dude. It is storming outside. It is storming. It is storming outside. Cargo pods full of light leather. Hungry pen animals. It's impossible. How are you? How are you hungry? The nutrition in the pen is point one point eight. Wait, this makes no sense. Why 
Why isn't he eating? It says... Very confused on this one. Well, it says there's so here the pen says there is a 1.84 nutrition growth. And nutrient consumption is 0.68. That comes from the horse. The horse is consuming 0.68 nutrition. So the growth, there should be food here. Why, why the horse is starving, I have no clue. That's insane. Royal tribute collectors here, but we have nothing to give them. So my question is, how upset is Trout gonna? No, actually not. Not Trout. We need Joyce to be in here. Joyce, go um, go hop in the gene extractor for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Joyce. Oh yeah, I forgot. Stupid horse. The yeah. horse is too stupid to figure out how to eat. Yeah, the horse is a little stupid here. We need to uh, shrink this. Oh yeah, it's storming outside. I'm enjoy the rain. I enjoy rain. It's because there's no grass. That was that. What's going on here? Gun curds are done. Now the most important tech: carpet making. Uh, I'm gonna grow some. Some uh, hay grass. Alright. They're leaving. This guy's all fucked up. Tree's got some crazy gear, though. Oh, yeah, dude, it is pouring outside. All right, I'm going to turn this on one speed really quick, and I'm going to go grab some water. I'm very thirsty. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully nothing bad happened. Looks like nothing bad happened. I'm gonna go try to find my pre-workout really quick here.
guys. I can't find my caffeine. Need some caffeine in me. No, oh, well. Guess no pre workout for dinner, Daddy. The horse is starving. Alright, Damien, can you uh, wake up, please? Alright, dudes, gonna eat some of our potatoes. Okay, dude's gonna eat a couple potatoes. Dude's eating some potatoes. Dude's eating a lot of potatoes. Guys, I can't find my tub of pre-workout. Said. Alright. Alright, I think the horse is good now, so I guess Kevin, you can. Kevin request falling shuttle. The shuttle of the Empire State was taken down seeking a place to land. Its command blue trail wants to land at Reload City. Wasters from Blight Pass will attack the crash shuttle site and attempt to kill its occupants. <laughs> Interesting. Kevin, Karen, Trout, and Joyce, go defend it. Go defend the rich people, guys. Joyce is having a minor break. You know what, Joyce, just go. Go relax, Joyce. You apparently are being overworked as an indentured servant. Here's the raid, it's just two of them. We got Prissy here, who is a genie, and then Jesse, who's also a genie. All right, here we go. Prissy's taking the first couple shots here. Well, that's, they're dead. Wow, these guys can't shoot worth a shit. You literally have a shooting of 17, you literally have a shooting of 9. Kevin, what are you doing? Kevin, don't go for a walk, Kevin. Cap Ke Kevin. 
Kevin, please. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. All right, we're coming out here taking a walk in an active war zone. We got some new guns. Damn, I really thought Isaac was gonna die. Well, if Isaac dies, he has a death. The city fires so really doesn't matter, unfortunately. All right, where's this guy getting all this medicine from? All right, rescue shuttle has arrived. All right, cool. Quest is done. We can deconstruct that ship, and in the morning we can grab all the loot from those corpses. Alright, hypothetically speaking... Seventeen, what's half of seventeen? Go like to six? No, eight, yeah. So the entrance to this would be here. Don't really care about the deserter quests. I really don't. Blah 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 blank. Yeah, quest failed, whatever. Alright. Damien's harvesting the rice plants. I think we can stop having this be rice. And we could just have this be more psychoid. Crack supply, or cocaine supply actually is increasing pretty steadily. Oh. This is what we want. Alright. Damien out here replanting everything. Alright, um... Get flag armor researched here. There you go, this place actually looking nice. Presses of the room should be going up. Slowly but steadily. Alright, hey Damien, you wanna do me a favor and uh oh, there's steel up here. Where do all those guns go from those people we murdered? Now they're over here still. And Karen, do you actually want to deconstruct the shuttle? Alright, with all that going on, things are going pretty smooth here in the colony. I think Kevin needs a gun though. Pretty sure Kevin needs a gun. 
go and pick up a bolt action rifle. Alright, the weather controller's done. Alright, getting some floors down, Kevin's researching uh, flak armor, minor break rest from Karen here, she's very hungry, it's alright Karen, push through, you got this. Now that you're done with that, now you can go eat. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it is getting warm outside, I'll tell you that. Oh, gene pack wimpy. Hey, Kevin, you want to bank the gene pack? Thank you. I think Joyce is going to be upset because we harvested their genes. You know, the wimpy one isn't like the bed. That's the ass. I'm just going to be... Be straight up here. Kind of an ass gene set. Uh -oh. We actually need more uh, rooms here. Quest for the Technochrome. Uh, we'll get to there eventually. Alright, oh, yeah, we're also going to need a throne room at some point. Yeah, Joyce is upset because awful bedroom. Oh no. I got worms. All right, Kevin, you want to patch yourself up? Got worms just means people are gonna be hungry for a while. I think that's like the big one. Parasitic worms in the gut that cause vomiting. They also consume the victims who which increases hunger. Alright, so we're gonna have some puke going on here. Some puke in our porridge, but you know what? That'll be alright. We should make a throne room for Kevin. Uh, so let's make another room here. Structures. We'll 
most of the floor. Minor break risk from Kevin. Kevin isn't, uh, what's up with you, Kevin? Sick, awful barracks, serious pain. Disturb sleep times three. Well, we can't do anything about the sick and the pain, so there's just gonna be minus 10 on him. Um, we can make the environments, like, better, hopefully. This, uh, carpet here will help. The great edifice. Okay, we can do this, and we can get even more honor. Give that to Kevin. Pods arrived, jump to location. Install it right here. Karen is just go. Oh. Hair meat rotted away. Uh, let's get some a little bit more cooling going on here. Karen, you just want to work on the cooler really quick. Thank you, Karen. Oh. Uh, who is the best mood? Hey, Trout, can you uh, can you haul that? Thank you, Trout. Yeah, we got some rotting corpses out here. Oh shit. Where the fuck is Joyce? One shot, one kill. No, just hold on. Chillax, chillax, chillax. Kevin is gonna have a mental breakdown. Kevin just chillax outside. Karen. Okay, where's Trout? Oh, he's gonna ignite our shell on fire. Damien, go. Go. Go deal with this person, please. Yeah, Kevin just needs to. Kevin needs to be recreationally satisfied here. Oh, Trout's got a beer bottle. Trout's got a melee weapon. Okay, you need to come help Damien, because you might get your ass beat up. Come on. Cool. Damien is a little hurt. Alright, Kevin, you doing okay? Kevin? Kevin, you okay? Okay. Alright, Karen, come go back to sleep. Damien's doing alright. Damien just threw up. Okay, well, that was a bit of a scary one there. Don't know why that happened. So Trout is friends with James. That's not... That's not good. I don't... I don't want them to be friends. I want you guys to hate each other. Okay, Damien's still got gut worms. So once Kevin is done tending to Trout, I'm actually going to have Kevin use the powers of Preach Health. And Damien here. And look at that. Uh oh. Joyce is out for the count. Oh, 
Well, you're gonna die in 23 hours. Okay, well, hey, Kevin, do you wanna... Alright, Kevin is... Kevin can give two shits about Joyce. Okay, well, you know what? You just wanna... Oh, I'm already turning. Ambrosia sprouted. Don't care. Who is starving? Joyce is starving. Are they, though? They have trivial malnutrition. I think the malnutrition is should be gone. Okay. Alright, a bit of a spicy revolt there. And Trout is uh, not having the best of times here. Uh, hey Joyce, you want to do me a favor and refill these passive coolers? Oh, well, this has been a bit of a spicy one here. Kevin is having a minor break of his own. Like I said, dude, everything's fine one minute, and the next it's just... Down the drain. Let's make some body straps. Will Joyce make those tomorrow? Damien still got gut worms. Goat worms need something. Uh, so dinner. Who am I friends with? Damien, you're, you're friends with. Uh, oh, wait, what the fuck? Kevin's your dad. Huh. I did not know that. I guess Kevin's is your dad. And then um, you're friends with. Uh, Karen and your rivals with both the indentured servants. Okay, Kevin is on at a major break risk. We have a mad rat outside. seconds here. Kill the rat. There we go. Damien needs medical treatments. Kevin's out here having a mental breakdown. So I guess we keep the rec recreationally satisfied mood buff going. I think everything will be all right. Kevin's gonna treat Damien. Hey, Kevin, you wanna treat yourself, my dude? Or, oh, looks like you already have. You got flak armor built. All right. I think that's everything we're gonna want here. We can argue for package survival. Eh, we can argue for steel tiles too. Let's get microelectronics going though. All right, the drug empire is flourishing. Alright. 
Damien the super hauler. Alright, those body straps are done. Where'd that other body strap go? Hey, Joyce, you wanna wear the body strap, please? Thank you. Should probably get some smoke leaf going on in here so we can, uh... In case one of our colonists has a mental, like, is on the verge of mental break, we can give him, like, a safe drug to consume. And Kevin's gone off the deep end with an insulting spree. Alright, Kevin, dude, you know, get out. Kevin is just leading it into Joyce. I think their relationship is actually going to deteriorate because of that. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin is just going off on Joyce here. Karen's also on the verge of a mental break. It's for time we get some individual rooms being made here. What was that? Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we give him a double bed, that means that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. I'm a bit of a sucker for symmetry, so that's kind of why we're going with that kind of look. Um, Alright. Yeah, we need to get everyone, like, moved out. The barracks is just not, like, good. Kevin is... Still on the verge of a mental break. It is the gut worms, dude. Royal Ascent. Awesome. All right, we'll keep that in mind. We do a... Uh, we do a festival. We need, like, an actual, like, relic room. 
And now there's a raid. Three of them, actually. Oh, isn't that just swell? Hey, Kevin, how you doing, dude? You feeling okay? It's a catharsis. Oh, you were not having a good time. Joyce, can you just uh, get the queen on in here? And then how much are the mini turrets? 100 steel? Hey, uh, Karen, you want to make one of these really quick here? Before the raid starts. Alright, so you're beginning their assaults. Kevin, Karen. Sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to. Uh, hold on, Karen. You can get this thing online in time. This might be huge. He's dead. Mini turrets online. Mini turret clutch. Mini turret clutch. Alright, let's get Karen out of here. I don't actually have Kevin retreat too because they don't have helmets. I don't want their heads getting blown off here. Alright, guys, we survived. The Mitch's sprint ship. Uh, that was a bit of a rough one there. Damien's gonna have a mental breakdown here too. Okay. Well, that's basically another 16 days at RimWorld. And I think we'll just kind of end the RimWorld part there. We've survived. We're getting carpets down. We're expanding the base here. Everyone's basically on the verge of a mental breakdown. So that's a good... Like any normal RimWorld colony. We got Joyce here making drugs. We're slowly getting there. We got medicine. Everything is good except for our mental health. So we'll uh, have to deal with that next time. Alright. I'll call that a part. See ya.